You better take the roof off and welcome your next act all the way from the US of I, Ryan Hamilton! Hi, everybody. Hello. It's so nice to be here in your fair city in uh, Melbourne. I've been enjoying it. Uh, is it Flinders or Flanders? I can't tell, but uh, I, I asked someone, hey, is it Flinders or Flanders? And then they told me, and then I still didn't know. Uh, I can understand you most of the time. I went to the library and they had an exhibit. There was a suit of armor there. And I thought, that's a little medieval for Australia. And then I, what I re learned is that it was just an outlaw a bush ranger who was like, I'm going Iron Man on everybody. <laughs> and he just did it. Just a rootin' tootin' bush ranger <laughs> named Ned, who was like, I'm gonna take a different approach to this a little bit. He was a real DIYer, that guy. <laughs> also, his name, really, it really strikes fear in your heart, doesn't it? To be like, who's after us? Ned Kelly. <laughs> Ned? Ned's after us? We better hurry, he's only hauling 200 pounds of iron. <laughs> Yeah, he won't catch you, but, uh, you know. <laughs> it was all defense, that guy. Real solid defense. <laughs> Ned Kelly had a real strong defense. I saw your subway, and um, it goes in a circle. <laughs> it's just a, your subway has the route complexity of a children's toy train. It's, it's just... <laughs> It's, uh, it's a little less like a subway and more like a, a ride. It feels like a ride. Whee! I live in New York City, but I'm from a very rural uh, part of uh, my country. I'm from, I'm from the Tasmania of America. Uh, I don't know, someone told me that I should say that, and I said, <laughs> and I, don't, uh, I don't think that that was a funny person, no. <laughs> I'm from a very small potato farming community in Idaho, and I live in New York City. And uh, we have a real schism in our country ever since the accident. I don't know if you've heard, but uh, we have a real schism. I don't even know what to tell my family when I call home. My mom will go, how was your day? Well, I saw a guy smoking crack on the train. And then my mom will go, well, we had a moose in the yard. You know, it's very uh, different worlds. I did see a guy smoking crack on the train uh, in New York City, not here. And uh, people don't believe me, but I know it was crack, I know. Even New Yorkers are like, no it wasn't, but I know it was. Do you know how I know it was crack? Because it wasn't marijuana, and I don't know what the other options are. So, uh, it's kind of like, you tell me what that was, you know? This guy wandered onto the train, and he didn't look great. And you know how sometimes you see somebody and you go, I wonder what his story is. Well, he told us. <laughs> uh, really more in actions than words, I would say. He sat down and pulled out what I would call an apparatus. And he started to barbecue it right there. He's got a three inch flame going. There's smoke floating around like he's grilling whoppers. You know, it's a scene. By the way, it's two o'clock in the afternoon. You don't want to see that. It's a little scary. My heart starts racing. I don't know what to do. One guy goes, hey, you can't do that in here. Yeah, I think he knows. Uh, uh, he, he, <laughs> he, <laughs> he seems like a bit of an out-of-the-box thinker, this fella. He might, um, he might be bending a rule or two here and there. You can't do that in here. Like he expected him to go, oh, geez, I'm sorry. A am I on a train again for crying out loud? I I never do this. This is very unlike me. <laughs> Are those children? Oh, I am simply mortified. <laughs> There's another guy five seats down from on the same side of the train who doesn't break his forward gaze. He's got this peripheral vision going on, like something's going down, and I will not acknowledge it. <laughs> and he takes his hat off, and he waves it in front of his face in a motion that says, I'm on my way to a job interview. I cannot get high on crack right now. What kind of a city is this? 
I'm just trying not to get high on crack. What happened? I accidentally got high on crack. I mean, you know how it is. Some days you miss your train and some days you make it and you get high on crack. And then, and then the train came to a stop and I decided to get off because I'm not much of a partier. You know, it's not my thing. And there are four people who want to get onto the train and I have this thought, I need to present a small public service announcement. <laughs> And then with my thousand dollar Idaho face, like I solved a Hardy Boys mystery, <laughs> the doors open up and I leaned in and went, somebody's smoking crack in here. <laughs> <laughs> and then three people went to the next car and one guy wandered in and went, which guy? You tell me. <laughs> I, don't, I don't smoke or drink or anything. I've never had fun. And uh, I, people don't, I never drink. People don't like you if you never drink. If you stop drinking, if you, if you used to drink and stop drinking, people are like, okay. If you never drank, the sediment's more like, you're an alien and I'd rather not have you in my life, you know? <laughs> it's very difficult to be social. You don't want me around. This is true, don't deny this. Some nights it's okay, but a lot of nights I get this feeling back from the group, like we all got together and we realized you're going to remember most of this. So <laughs> we'd rather not take a little black box with us on this disaster that's about to occur. Now, what you don't think about is it goes both ways. Your drinking affects my life because I'm a good listener. And so I listen and I listen and I listen and I'm fine with that. What I'm not okay with is the next day. Do you know what happens the next day? I end up alone in a park waiting for a picnic Oh, yeah, it's so funny to you, isn't it? You're like, we never keep our commitments. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm alone on a blanket with baby carrots and cheese cubes waiting for someone with a five-digit phone number to try and call. Now, you don't get that kind of detail in a joke unless you've actually lived it, is what I want you to know. You've been a lot of fun. Thank you very much. Good